Alyssa, first of all, a belated congratulations on your appointment as the new Springbok coach. Just if you can summarise for us what the last year has been like for you, um, obviously um, Stormers to Japan and then back to coach the Springboks. Well, uh, I think the best thing that could have happened is the break uh, after our playoffs in, in Super Rugby. I had a fantastic uh, time in Japan, you know, and it's always good to really come from somewhere else to become a Springbok coach rather than going from your province, your franchise, to be the Springbok coach. So I've had a good sort of look at, uh, at South Africa, the rugby in South Africa from outside and the way it is run in Japan. So it uh, sort of broadened, and I learned a lot, broadened the horizons, learned a lot, and uh, but uh, I've enjoyed every moment of uh, the job at this point in time. I think uh, um, it hasn't been easy, but uh, I've got, I'm surrounded by a good group of people, you know, coaches to my management team, they have been very supportive. They've been unbelievable. And uh, we're looking forward to the test. Um, what, is, uh, what is done is done, you know. I'm, I'm really excited and, and I think we're well prepared. I know we've uh, had only two weeks, but uh, this is uh, the best uh, we could have done in terms of preparation. And hopefully it will show on Saturday. Compared to the times we've spoken to you when you were at the Stormers, um, it mu must be said that you are looking a bit more serious. Um, does this new job as national coach come with obviously a bit more stress? How are you feeling personally? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm shocked to, to hear that I look more serious, Nick. But uh, no, look, we understand that uh, representing the Springboks, it's, a, it's a one massive uh, responsibility. Um, we embrace that. We would like to make our supporters really proud of the team and proud of the way we play. We would like to enhance and, and keep the significance of the Springbok jersey intact. Uh, you know, a definitely a sign, a symbol of excellence, uh, a symbol of, uh, of success. Uh, and, and, and we would like to do that, you know, the players understand. Uh, but they also love the game. I think we have forgotten about just simply love, loving the game. That's why we've bought into the Love Rugby campaign. And, uh, and, and therefore, you know, we, we want to enjoy every bit of, uh, of being part of the game and, and playing a positive and contributing role to make sure rugby is still uh, a game that we should love. Thanks, Elsa. Good luck this weekend and for the season ahead. Thank you, Nick. Thanks very much.